welcome back guys so previously we have seen the conversion of the two digit hexadecimal number to the decimal one and we were left with these g and h parts okay so let us first find the decimal equivalent of this g part so g is 6 f and 1 okay so as this is a hexadecimal number what we have to do we have to find the binary equivalent of these so one is we can see that this is here okay so it would be 0 0 0 1 okay f is how much that is of oh, 4 times 1 okay so 1 1 1 and this is 6 we can see that this is the binary equivalent of f while the 6 is how much that is 0 1 1 0 okay so 0 1 1 0 okay so these are here now as we have found them out what we have to do what is the next step here we have to find the decimal equivalent of this binary number so this would be 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so from here we can see that all the numbers which are multiplied with these ones here so here the weights uh, which has a multiplicative factor of 1 will be 2 0 okay similarly adding them this uh, 2 raised power 4 okay this 2 raised power 5 this one 2 raised power 6 okay 2 raised power 7 okay so we can see that uh, it is this one um, this one is also this one this one this one well now here 2 raised power 9 and 2 raised power 10 so 2 raised power 9 plus 2 raised power 10 okay so now adding them uh, we will get our number so in order to add them what we have to do this is 1 this is uh, 16 okay this is 32 this is 64 uh, this is 128 okay how much is this this is 512 okay and this is 1024 so uh, in order to add them you may use a calculator so let us use a call calculator here so here in order to add them what we will do 1 plus 16 plus 32 plus 64 plus 128 plus 512 plus 1024 okay so what we will get here 1777 so 1777 that is the decimal equivalent of my number here so what was that this was basically the binary number okay this was a hexadecimal and now at the end we have got the decimal equivalent of my number okay so uh, that is about part g of my question similarly we can also do it for part h as well so let me do it for part h okay so part h is a b c okay uh, the equivalent of c is here we can see that that is double one double zero okay the equivalent of b is one zero double one one zero double one and the equivalent of a is here that is one zero one zero one zero one zero and now multiplying them with the weights it has so we can see here that this is the hexadecimal this is the binary equivalent of it and now from this binary we have to find the decimal equivalent so that is 2021 2 8 2 9 2 10 2 11 okay so now getting all the weights with which the multiplicative factor is 1 what we will get here it will be 
2 raised power 2 plus 2 raised power 3 plus 2 raised power 4 plus 2 raised power 5 okay so after 8 here it will be 2 raised power 7 okay so after 8 this one 2 raised power 9 okay and then 2 raised power 11 what we have to do we have to add them so here it will be 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 okay so 2 raised to power 7 is how much so let me calculate it 2 raised to power 7 is 128 plus this is 512 okay and 2 raised to power 11 is 2048 now adding them together what i will get so let me add them 2048 plus 512 plus 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 okay so what I will get here, I will get 2748. So 2748 is the decimal equivalent of my number. Okay, so that is the decimal equivalent of number. So that's it for today, in which we have seen that how to convert a T three digit hexadecimal code to the decimal equivalent. Okay. So, I will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video. Till then, take care of yourself and I will see you soon.